Food technologists cannot be a food technologist if they do not know food microbiology. In this series of videos, we will understand in detail about pathogenic microorganisms and cover the following aspects for each food pathogens. What are the primary sources of that particular pathogen? What are the food sources? Pathogenicity Contributing factors Atmosphere Spore or non-spore forming Temperature pH and water activity required for the growth of that pathogen and in this part we are going to cover the details about first pathogen that is salmonella before we jump into the details of salmonella just quickly tune up the basics of food microbiology what are microorganisms technically a microorganism is an organism that is microscopic Microorganisms can be bacteria, mold, yeast, or fungi. There are two categories of microorganisms in food. Food spoiling microorganisms. Food pathogenic microorganisms. Food spoiling microorganisms are either bacteria or fungi, and these are too small to be seen, that cause food to deteriorate and develop unpleasant odors, tastes, and textures. Whereas pathogenic microorganisms in food can trigger dangerous cases of food poisoning and may pose a serious health risk to the consumer. In short, organisms which do not cause diseases and just spoil the food are called non-pathogenic. However, food pathogens can make us sick and may cause death. After this understanding, presenting here the list of food pathogens. This is the list of main food pathogens. Salmonella, Listeria, Vibrio, Clostridium, Staphylococcus, Campylobacter, Legionella, E. coli, Shigella, Bacillus cereus, Salmonella. Salmonella is ranked among the most important initiators of cases of food poisoning. The WHO estimates more than 16 million global infections per year, and more than half a million cases are fatal. Primary source Primary source of salmonella is intestinal tract of people and animal. Food source Salmonella are found in raw foods such as eggs, meat and milk or food that should only be slightly heated or not at all heated, example raw milk cheese, raw sausage, chocolate, ice cream, it can also be present in nuts, spices, flour etc. Pathogenicity Infection through salmonella can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fever, headache. Contributing factors Cross-contamination, undercooked food, poor agriculture practice, environmental contamination are the contributing factors. Atmosphere Atmosphere required for salmonella is facultative, that means salmonella can grow and stay in both aerobic and anaerobic environment. Spore slash non-spore forming. Salmonella is non-spore forming microorganism. Temperature. Temperature for salmonella to grow in food is 6 to 47 degrees Celsius, but the optimum temperature is 35 to 45 degrees Celsius. pH. Salmonella can grow in food having pH between 3.7 to 9.5. Water activity. Salmonella requires greater than 0.94 water activity to grow in food. This is all brief about salmonella. We will bring next video on another pathogen and define the same basic expects.